Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Greg and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how I built this side console. I'm going to share my journey and hopefully you can build your own DIY side console. So the specific wood species I'm using for this project is called Giard and I'm going to start my project off by cutting all my pieces of wood to size. Behind the scenes on my drawing board I've got my cutting list so I know exactly what sizes to cut all my pieces of wood to. So just a small piece of advice to make your project go much faster is to have your cutting list and measurements ready so you can do all your cuts at one go. We are officially on the road to 10,000 subscribers. You can support the channel by subscribing and liking this video. This is honestly going to help me to make future content. So once all my pieces of wood has been cut to size, I'm going to start to build my console. My plan is to build the outer box first and fastening all my pieces of wood together, I'm going to use some wood glue and my nail gun. And always remember when using a nail gun to remove your hand where you're going to shoot your nail in. And now I'm just adding the top piece of my side console and then we're moving on to the back piece of my side console. And the back piece specifically, I wanted it to have a super, super tight fit. I don't want any small gaps that I need to come and fill later with my wood filler. Moving on to the inside of my console, I'm adding two pieces of wood that will ultimately form my three door side console. Off camera, 
I did mark exactly where these inside pieces of wood need to go. For this console I want a super smooth finish and another tip is to use sawdust from your wooden project. Mix it with glue and then you have your own DIY wood glue. And I'm going to use my own wood glue to fill all my small little nail holes I made with a nail gun. Moving on to the next step, I'm going to sand my complete console. Sanding my console with my orbital sander, starting with 120 grit, moving on to 180 grit, and then ultimately finishing my console with a 220 grit sandpaper. Moving on to the next step, the edges of my side console is too square and too sharp. That's why I'm going to give it a small chamfer using my router with a 45 angle router bit. And this is where small attention to detail comes in play when building custom furniture. So I specifically picked this piece of wood to be the front face of my console because it got this beautiful white line on top that's going to be continuous on my front face drawers. I'm going to use MDF Superwood to build the inside of my drawers. I'm building my inside drawers using some wood glue and my nail gun. One of the questions I receive mostly from the channel is how to build drawers. In this video I'm not going into too much detail of how to build drawers. I will definitely do a separate video going into detail to build your own drawers perfectly. Before my excess wood glue is going to be 100% dry, I'm going to use a wet cloth to remove all my excess wood glue. And off camera I did sand my inside drawers and painted them black. Installing my inside runners for my drawers, I'm using a spacer at the bottom, applying my runner on top and using a small off cut that's the same thickness of my front drawers to have the spacing for my runner on the inside to sit perfectly.
Now, the moment of truth. To see that all my sizes, measurements, planning is coming together by installing my drawers. And it's sitting like a glove, perfectly. For this project, I'm going to use Rubio Monocoat Pure. It is a linseed oil and the mixing ratio is 1 to 6. I am going to add some little bit of black color that's going to make my wood a little bit darker. Applying Rubio Monocoat to your workpiece, you need to apply it in a circular motion. Leave it for about 10 minutes and then you come and wipe it up with a cloth. I did make a previous video on what type of oils I'm using and the products I believe in. I am going to leave a link now. Please go and check it out. Before I'm going to leave you with the final product, please let me know in the comments below what do you think of this side console. Until next week guys, enjoy this one, cheers!